In this video, we're going to take a look at the uh, enhancements to Design Compare in Release 15 of CAM350 and DFM Stream. So I've got my Rev A loaded here. I'm going to go over to Analyze and Design Compare. And before I load my Rev B, I just want to point out some new buttons in here. Here's an Alignment button, and here's a Layer Mapping button. So if I go in here and choose Rev B, and it's misaligned, you'll see that in the preview window here. But if I have this button checked when I do bring it in, you'll notice that it aligns it for me automatically. Now, by default, it tries to map the layers by layer names, but we put in some additional options uh, going forward, you may get data from other sources. Uh, your fabricator may send them to you. Um, you may not have worked on the original design. So the layer names may be different. So you can do layer ID, which is basically just the order they're in. And you can even do layer type. And then in layer type, if, you're, if they aren't able to map this correctly, you can go to a pull down here and choose the layers to map and then once you do map a layer, it disappears out of this list, so it helps you get through that list and map all your layers. So you do have, again, layer name, layer ID, and layer type as options for matching up your layers when you're doing a design compare. And as I mentioned before, um, the auto align will work on a one up or even in a panel. Uh, if you have a multi-up set of Gerbers that you want to compare to this, it'll line up the lower left board. Okay, so these are the enhancements in Design Compare in Release 15 and later.